So in this video, I actually got a set of four uh, images from Goodwill. Um, they all went together and they're all the same size, have the same frame. And basically I just flipped the cardstock over and decided to try to do something abstract. And when I didn't like it, I redid it. <laughs> so I would, um, at part way through this video, I was like, what am I even doing? This looks gross. Um, but I just let it dry and kept going and let it dry and kept going. So by the end of it, I was really happy with it. Um, and it goes really well with the area of my apartment that has my dartboard because of the primary colors I'm using. Um, so yeah, the parts that I ended up not liking ended up being a really good base for the end result. So um, yeah, just stick along for the ride, see what it looks like at the end, um, and I'm going to go ahead and throw it to some music. This is actually my first time even using palette knives. First time really doing much abstract. The only other type of abstract painting I've done is acrylic pouring. Um, and this is a little bit more strategic than acrylic pouring, um, in my opinion, in my experience. Um, for those of you that don't know acrylic pouring, um, you put colors in a cup. Well, the way I did it was, I think, called a dirty pour. and you put colors in a cup, you flip the canvas over, you put the cup on it. When you pull up the cup, all the colors kind of ooze onto the canvas. And then the only control you really have are the colors you choose and where you tilt the canvas and how much paint you want to run off. So you're tilting the canvas, but that's really all the control you have. And if you have a torch, you can torch the bubbles and stuff like that. But there's not a whole lot of control involved, which is partially why I like doing it, honestly. But with this, you have more control, but I just don't know the right techniques to use for the palette knives. So I really, really did not like how this looked. And the parts that I did like were the textures. Um, so for example, like you can see the little bumps from the type of cardstock. Um, I don't even know if this would be called a cardstock or an artboard or what, but um, yeah, so yeah, I like how you can see the little bumps in the textures. So with this next step, I went over what I did and just tried to add as much texture as possible with the paint. Um, so yeah, that's what you're about to see is me trying to fix the part that I didn't like and keep parts that I did like. Um, there's also going to be two other ones. Total, there will be four. Uh, paintings and you'll see what they look like all hung up and everything at the end.
so we're getting near the end here guys and I just wanted to explain a little bit about what I'm doing. Um, basically instead of going in and going over um, with black like I did with the other ones to add texture, I'm going in with the colors to add texture uh, using the palette knife. Um, at this point I think that my uh, bigger paintings I did with palette knives are actually out already, the speed paintings. Um, but this is actually my first attempt with the palette knives. The two speed paintings you may have seen already actually were my second and third attempts with palette knives. So I really liked using them. I think they're a lot of fun. I would like to see what textures I could get on different, um, different, you know, canvases and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you liked this video, let me know with a like or a comment, and I'll do a little bit more of this kind of stuff where I'm talking instead of just the speed paints. Um, so I'll see you next time. Hope you like the end result pictures.